Hello everybody, that is here in another video which is I didn't plan at all. So I'm making random stuff. But the reason for that is that I got a package yesterday and had no clue what it is because I completely forgot that I, I made an order and it looks really strange so I was really surprised and even asked UPS guy like is he sure? Like is it ours? And he said, well, it's your company name on it. So anyways, so it was ours. And uh, when I, but when I figured out it's from Australia, I knew who is that. And this was a set of new products from Singularity Computer and um, legend uh, Daniel. Everybody knows him and uh, at least anybody who interested in the computer and water cooling modding at least a little bit. There's a lot of people who are giving advice on the internet, but just a few who actually give a good advice. And in my books, Daniel, one of people that make excellent tutorials, he always saying how he built computers and uh, he probably have the highest reputation in my books comparing with anybody else who making tutorials in a computer modding scene specifically. So I got a few things which is, was released recently and I was lucky enough to get them more or less quickly. And this is a new family of products under the Proteum name. And this is reservoirs and reservoirs upgrades such as the pump stops and things like this. Everything was created by Daniel. He put a lot of thought in the stuff. It's probably most richer feature reservoirs and pump upgrades on the market at this point. For that reason, I got super curious. Uh, I only saw products on basically on pictures. And now I have opportunity to check stuff in person with you. I never seen product before. It will be a spot review, so to speak. So forgive me if it will be not as slick as maybe other reviews when you a little bit know the subject better, but we'll see. First of all, reservoirs. There's a three models from the size perspective. One is 100, 200 and 250. So I got all three. And there's a variety of options for the end cups. It can be polished acrylic or frosted acrylic, acetal, black, white, and, and things like this. Because I don't have unlimited pocket, I got just the several variations and mostly I choose polished acrylic because it looks cool <laughs> and acetal because you know black always number one seller doesn't matter what so those options I don't have so we'll look quickly on a polished acrylic and acetal versions I start with acrylic why because uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with those products there's a number of features cramped in them and nobody coming even close. For that reason, looking into acrylic part, a little bit easy in terms of you see what's going on inside. When, if you open acetal, then you don't really know what's happening. So let's look which model has a, has a acrylic, acrylic components. 250, that's the one. All right, so the box, nicely done, good job from Singularity. So although it's just a brown, a regular box this little sleeve is actually a very nice touch because the thing looks really sleek it's and it looks cool that's for sure i usually don't like to open new products because it makes them used in a way but there's no other choice because we have to check this out it's totally worth it in my opinion already so on the top we have five stop plugs black the singularity logo on them and there's uh, some sort of of material to protect reservoir and uh, here you go so we have a reservoir right there so the model as i said i i chose polished acrylic so and with black rings you have different options for different colored rings but you know black is most chances that people like it the most Alrighty, so what do we have here? I believe this is uh, not glass. I think this thing is a plastic. Alright, 
and uh, how we check it out? We need uh, some sort of screwdriver, I think, or some sort of metal. And we'll here. No, it doesn't sound like glass, and it also is not heavy enough to be a glass. So the cylinder is extruded acrylic, I believe, or some sort of that, which is perfectly fine with me. I don't have a glass receiver in any of my personal computers. I think I, I'm not sure. It's cool, maybe, but not that critical in my opinion. So no complaints here. So the top, top, unlike this power. <laughs> who likes to give you like single ports, although everybody always have to buy additional replacement tops, so you get two or three ports. So Daniel, not stupid, <laughs> he makes it three ports right away. So you have opportunity to have not only the inlet for your reservoir, but also your filling port as well, or possibly whatever other stuff that you, you need to. So the top is a three port one. We have anti, it's not anti vortex, but uh, this little piece of tube help you to avoid additional bubbles because if you put liquid above the level of the tube and this is your inlet, the water will not hit the surface, not create additional bubbles. So it's, it's important to have in any reservoir you have and it's usually pretty standard feature. So it's, it's also present here, all right? So what we have, uh, acrylic, uh, not acrylic, um, some sort of um, o-ring and top and everything get fixed with this aluminum ring that makes things seal. The, everything is flash, which is very nice. I like that you can't see threads on the reservoir it uh, makes things a little bit more sleek the bottom one here you go so we have a similar construction rings fix the bottom this is a somewhat uh, similar to ek multi res type of design we have a like section chopped on the bottom and give you horizontal mounting for the fittings and we basically have four ports which is either on the bottom or on the side, depends how you want to route your tubing. For most of the builds, it will be more than adequate. And uh, so that's, uh, that was what we have here. And let's put it together. And last not least feature, very nice logo, not very intrusive. I like that it's uh, not very big size because lots of people like to make this bloody stuff so big. So I usually have a problem with logos in general, I always rip them off, but uh, this one is, is not that bad. The last thing that I would like to say for acrylic only, it, it makes sense for acrylic only, there's a one provision for three millimeter LED. So, oh, actually two. There's one of the lower part and one on, the, on, on this um, flat part as well. So two ports for three millimeter LEDs. So if you want to make your reservoir glow a little bit, you can do that. Alrighty, so that's really quick one. Let's look on the black acetal version. Well, as expected, so this is just a black reservoir, but looks really sleek. Even the log is still not too intrusive. I pretty much like it. I probably will go with black version myself. Also, I usually like lights and stuff like this, but black looks absolutely neat. We have two more parts to check out that I'm, I'm still very curious about. One is a upgrade slash top for D5 pump. The interesting thing about that product that it can be used as a add-on for the reservoir or it can be used separate and when it's used separate it still looks good and i explain to you in a second what i mean by that so again it can be acetal version or it can be polished acrylic so polished acrylic obviously it will be more interesting to look at because we can see all the channels and things like this so 
right. Anti-static bag. And uh, let's see what kind of goodies we, we, we get with that. Some screws and standoffs. Three more stop plugs, a singularity logo, and actual top 45 pump with provided o ring. So, what is special about that? First of all, look how low profile it is. There's a lot of uh, D5 tops on the market and uh, it's probably twice as small comparing with Alpha Cool. It's uh, similar size to Beats Power version. It's also, I believe, similar size to EK. So what do I have? First of all, let's count the number of ports, inlets and outlets. We know that outlet is um, going from on the side, the, so the impeller spins and push water on the side. So it's always uh, something that needs to come from the peripheral of uh, this impeller cavity that is made instead of the top. And inlets is always in the middle. So water always coming in the middle of the pump and get pushed on the side. So from the Perspective of water exit, there's only one port. So we have one hole, there are no other channels, so it goes on the sides in one place. But in terms of the inlet, we have uh, three options, and they basically the coming, oh no, it's four options. And three of them coming from the same side as the outlet, other side 90 degree, or opposite 180 degree. So you can't really see, but I will insert pictures because with those lenses, uh, they work well for lightning, but unfortunately I can't zoom at all. So anyways, and the fourth port that um, I almost missed actually from the top. So that will be preferable way to feed your pump in case you will attach it to the reservoir as an option. And how you do that? This Pretty clever. I never saw anything like this, so it's, I believe, a Daniel invention. So we have this little cover that we can unscrew. So when it's in place, it makes this top very slick. So there's no like weird shapes. But if you want to have a reservoir, then this flat portion get removed and put aside. And uh, we have threading and space specifically for reservoir and because the reservoir has threads on both sides you can choose what you do you can remove this side this top uh, and end cup of your reservoir or you can use this one so if you won't just go tubing up or something like this so you remove the bottom one and you have it like that or if you prefer have 90 degree exit, you probably want to save other side and you just screw it in. I don't want to do it right now, but uh, it's kind of pretty obvious. So that's uh, how it looks, pretty nice, interesting. There's uh, also tons of places for LEDs and I think it's, uh, it's also three millimeters. So two on one side, two on other side two more on another side so three sides has a total six of LEDs and three millimeters usually not very powerful but if you put six of them that thing will be glow like Halza for sure and the same thing from both the same three sides we have a, a threaded holes which I believe can be used for the bracket or just attaching to the computer case so that's how it looks Let's check out how the black lock look. And uh, right here, uh, DVC, and uh, DDC. Oh, I, did, I, I don't actually, I don't ever actually have an acetal version at all. It was some, didn't arrive yet. So I can't show you acetal. So we have to switch to DDC right now. So let's look on the DDC. What we have here again? Let's let's take polished polished acrylic. DDC top. It's actually a, not 
just top. It's a modding kit. For, a reason for that is that it comes with uh, two things. One is actual top for the DC pump, and second you have a cooler body that um, you attach to the pump and it uh, improves the uh, heat dissipation for DDC pump, which is actually very, very critical. Uh, DDC pump, the smaller, the spin faster, and uh, if they put in a hot environment, the lifespan of those pumps can be shorter. And uh, they actually even can fail uh, for people who like to put some sort of um, dumping foam and they totally block airflow um, around the motor and it just brings failures. So what we have here is uh, this aluminum uh, replacement body for the pump. So you remove the plastic body that comes with the pump and you use that. And um, we have a thermal pad that allow PCB of the pump to transfer transfer heat better to the cooling body, a bunch of screws to connect it to the case and again most of plugs and look on uh, let's look on that again very sleek low profile same cover that allows us to attach protein reservoir or if we don't have one or don't need one we put this our back and it's make top looks a little bit nicer than just with that cavity exposed so everything together will be something like this pretty neat and the number of ports very similar situation so what we have exit again one and exactly the same deal as with the five top we have exits on three sides same side 90 degree 180 degree or uh, so, so it's not exits, it's inlets. Inlets on three sides or on the top. Outlet is only one, on one side, on a side. End of story. And uh, that one I actually have acetone, so I can show you quickly. And uh, obviously all channels he hidden here, but that's how it looks. Very nice, the whole machine work is uh, pretty good. It's quality made part, so it looks nice. Unlike D5, I like acrylic more for DDC specifically. Uh, and the uh, cooling aluminum portion is uh, basically exactly the same. So let's put it back quickly. There's nothing new here except uh, just a different type of material. And the last part that I would like to finish this video with is um, D5 dress kit. This very popular item. We saw it introduced by Beats Power, and then a bunch of other companies uh, did it. We even have our own version, version, version for dark side. So it's uh, kind of quite common part at this point. And uh, what we have? So the body very simple with uh, some grooves on the side that help you to to put it in place. So shape obviously is quite similar. We have uh, this bottom part with the cutouts for cables, which is nicer, better than let's say Beats Power when you have to disassemble wires to put in a hole. So here just put wires like this. And, um, and this is very good portion that uh, I really like here. This is a piece of rubber that you attach to this uh, the plate so you don't see the pump itself. And uh, the purpose of that, I already know what it is. Also, I haven't even read description or anything. That uh, what's happened when you put uh, just metal portion inside and you start putting this dress kit on the pump, on certain point, it, st it start turning and uh, start cutting your wires. So this thing will help to eliminate that problem and uh, the friction will help to seat the cow in place so you don't need to worry about uh, problems with your wires. So that's a pretty, pretty important part to tell you. So that's it guys, very quick uh, 
review on a spot review hopefully you like uh, my thoughts on that uh, have everything soon in a store and uh, if you want any feel free to buy doesn't matter from me from daniel direct uh, this guy definitely deserves to be supported nobody else put so much effort to promote computer modding making showcase builds he has tons of customers who absolutely loves him and he always give a good advice i rarely see some things that actually i can pick up because uh, i'm not saying like i'm super something but uh, most people below me <laughs> in terms of uh, what they do but uh, daniel in his few videos he gave me a couple tips that i was like oh yes I can do that and this is a good idea so for that uh, I respect Daniel a lot so he's a good guy so anyway so buy his stuff that will be just a little thank you to the somebody who gives so much to community all right guys thanks a lot for watching hopefully I start making videos that I plan to originally but we'll see maybe I get something new and I will fast forward it I see you soon